Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How are you? Wasn't sure y'all were on there yet or not. Today is November the 11th, and it's Veterans Day. That's right. And Mama and I, I put on red, white, and blue. I came here, and Mama had on red, white, and blue. I said, well, we're matchy. Well, I was sitting back, and I had all my sleeves and all my shirt. And Mama said, I'm ready for Veterans Day, and you are too. I said, well, great minds think a lot. So Mama decided she would like to make a red, white, and blue dessert today. Yeah. For a little extra later on. Mm -hmm. But not too heavy. This comes from Jello. J E L L O. And this is Raspberry uh, Three Ounce Box. In case you're wondering what we're making, Mama, show us what you're going to make and she's going to get it together. But, but first, we want to take a moment and say thank you. Thank you to all you veterans. Thank you. Thank you to all that have served ever and all the wonderful uh, things you brought us through your service. And thank you to the families that had people in service and that uh, sacrificed so much, so, so much time, so much uh, times they could have spent together, but their loved one was off serving. And uh, you need to be honored as well. And uh, we just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. We pray for you all that are serving now. Uh, we pray for the families of those who have lost loved ones due to their service. Mm -hmm. And we truly owe you all what we have. We have freedom today because veterans gave up their freedom to serve our country. And uh, we just want to say thank you. We want to remember you and thank you and honor you this day. We can Past never and honor enough. Never. Never. We uh, always respect your veterans. Always. That's who built this country. And that's the reason we are here today. So anything you have, uh, you owe it to uh, the service of someone who came before us. And we appreciate them. That's right. So, Mama, what you got cooking? Well, I'm just going to make this jello. Uh, it's raspberry. It's red. And then we're, uh, I think I'll put a banana in it. Would you like that? Mm, Mama, bananas are good. And then I'm going to put a red jello with a white top and a few blueberries on it so. oh red white blue mama. so we're going to make it in honor mama does some red white and blue things um a lot of times for fourth of july or for memorial day or veterans day or something like that mama likes to always i remember when i was a kid we always had something special yeah. on special holidays some i like to honor. to honor and respect something to think a little extra mm -hmm. so mama what's the process simple as hot one cup of hot cup of coke yeah that's simply it and, uh, for the jello part what's what's the white part gonna be i'll either just use like a cool whip topping mm. or a cream cheese mm. one of the two i ain't decided do i get a pick uh well what would be your pick I think I like the cream cheese version. That sounds oh, good. Well, cream well, cheese. What would you do? Put cream cheese and powdered sugar and mix it together? Yeah, maybe a little cool wheel. We'll fix it some way. Now you're talking dessert, Mama. Yeah. So that'll be the white, and the blueberries will be the blue. Mm -hmm. Red, white, and blue. Okay. I'm going to get the hot water. It's about hot. Mama's making water the old-fashioned way in the microwave. <laughs> In the microwave. Nothing. You can also, when you're making your jello, you open it for me. if you will remember this ahead of time, say just a little bit, not a lot, just a little bit, and you can sprinkle it on the top of the white part, and then add your blueberries, and it'll make a pretty little sprinkle on top. So, Mama, I'm going to say just a little bit, just a little. not enough to hurt the recipe. Let me pull you down here where you can see Mama work. Oh, that smell is wonderful. Isn't it, though? Wonderful, wonderful. Mmm. We might have to drink this, Mama. Wouldn't be bad at it. Did you used to make me drink jello water for some reason? When you would get sick and wouldn't eat good. Uh huh. To get you some fluids down there, I'd fix this. A little bit of jello water and you would drink it sometimes. Because I remember some jello water being involved. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to say just a, I'm going to put a little bit more in there, Mama. That's good enough. I'm going to say just a little bit there. Can you see right there in the bottom? Just a little bit and we'll use that for a sprinkle for the top. And then it'll kind of bleed with that white. 
and it'll make a good little sprinkle on top. Now that's the cup of hot mm -hmm. to dissolve it. And if you don't get it dissolved, it'll lay on the bottom. Mm, don't want that, do we? No. Now, Mama, this is going to be a minute. So we'll oh, this will be a long time because this has got to set up. Mmm. So we'll make this and let it put in the refrigerator. Yeah. And then we'll have to come back with part two of making the topping. Of making the topping. Or you can make two different things. No, we'll put it all in one. I can do a part two. Right. If you can do it, please. Is that these all? If you don't hear the gritting in the bottom. Okay. You can kind of tell. You can hear it scratching. It looks like it's already gelling on your spoon. Well, it's because my spoon was cold when I stuck it in the water. Oh, okay. What in the heck's just room temperature? Well, that's a beautiful red. Mm-hmm. And I may hold off just a little bit on the cold water because I am going to put some fruit in it. Oh, you mean to a banana, Mama? Yeah. Mm. Now, Mama, I'm going to put some fruit in there. All right. Just a fraction. I will cut you up a banana. I can handle that much of the, of, of the chore list. You can. Yeah. Lord, your granny sure made jello a lot and put bananas in it, she, and apples, she loved She them. loved, well, I remember that, that's what I started to say. She loved bananas and apple and jello together, and that's all we would have, and um, sometimes she'd put Cool Whip on top, but basically it was just... Um, Plain jello with apple and banana. And it was orange a lot of times, or uh, cherry. She liked both of those. Mm-hmm. And there you go, sir. Did Dad like ben uh, Jello? Yeah, he ate Jello. Okay. So here's the uh, banana. Until he got so sick in hospital so much, he it wasn't one of his fondest dishes then. I remember you used to make lime Jello. Yeah. And put a little top of Cool Whip, and he had certain little bowls, and I knew when I saw those bowls, you would make little individual ones mm -hmm. and put them in the in there. And make puddings that way. Make something. puddings, chocolate puddings. So here's the banana. I just cut it up in the hull. And now I'm just going to put it right in there. Just Not like the that. Hell. Not the hull. You can have it, Mama. I know you wanted me to put it in there too, didn't you? Yeah, I don't want to waste that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all we're going to put in here. You want your little apple. You want apple in it too, Mom? I can do well, an I don't apple. Know what you want, you'll probably eat most of it. I, I'm, I'm versatile, Mama. I can do whatever you want me to do. Apple would be all right. Have like a fruit cocktail. You could open up some fruit cocktail if you want to. Could you? I don't like it as well as I do. You know they make it. I bought some. I don't know if y'all have seen this, but they make that tropical fruit cocktail, and it's pretty good too. Yeah, and they make the. Plain fruit cocktail, it calls extra cherries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now these apples, I just got them out of the bowl here, but Mama washed them. Mama washed these apples. Let me tell you how Mama does. She washed these apples and she puts them in her bowl here. Well, the other night I come in here and I said, Mama, what are you doing? Are you polishing the apples? She said, yeah. They oh got a little God. bit of... They got a little bit of haze on them. She said, and I don't like that, so I'm polishing them. She was in here. You've heard of an apple polisher? <laughs> I was an apple. Mama was polishing the apples. All right, Mama. Are we, this is all we're going to do? It's just. Yes, put about a half that apple in there. And then we're going to be ready to put it in the refrigerator and have it made and. All right. So, this is simple and easy so far. It all simple. And the cream cheese, you're going to lay this cream cheese out now? Yes, I better. So lay your cream cheese out when you put your jello in, and then it'll be good and warm. You don't want it, you know, room temperature. Be good in room temperature, and um, 
you'll be able to mix it up and make the topping. And then we'll sprinkle a little bit of um, that red jello on top of that white and put some blueberries and dessert will be made. I think my son must have opened the fridge and got out of the fridge. Mom, they can't hear you. Well, this one's not good. Your son did what? Opened up two cream cheeses at the same time. He might. He might and did. And this has had our two of the music. You won't use it if it's had air? Well, it closed up good, and I don't like that. Now, he didn't leave it unclosed. Somebody else might be in your cream cheese when your son wasn't even here. Oh, uh, ain't nobody been here. All right, Mama, there it is. Folks, that can't get any simpler. Cup of hot, cup of cold, and a banana cubed up in an apple. Let's get you on top of that so you can see it. And an apple cubed up, and that's it. Put that laying on there. And then we'll put it in the refrigerator. Cream cheese is set out and ready to go. Mama's popular. Y'all notice every time we get on here, she gets phone call. Because uh -huh. Mama's just popular like that. You all hang out. We're going to let this jail, let this, let this warm. And we'll be back to make a topping and put on this. And we'll be ready for a little bit of red, white, and blue dessert today. Y'all hang on. Well, it's been a couple of hours. And that jello is now jello. Mama, show us the jello you made. Let's put the lid on. The unveiling of the product. Mmm. Is it firm? Yeah. Yes, it is. And look there, folks. It is deliciously jello. And that in there, in case you're just showing up here, this is raspberry jello and apples and bananas. That's all that is. All right, Mama, do your magic. Okay, I'm going to try to do it. Oh, we're going to use the. Chopper, you want to put this in first? Yeah. This is an eight ounce block of cream cheese. Except what we made. <laughs> Mom, have you been eating other cream cheese? Yes, and I've seen more. Mama, now, surely I didn't take a bite of it. Surely you did. It's good and soft because it's been sitting out here, and uh, I did cut it up in little blocks so it'd be easier to mix them instead of just putting a whole block in there. Well, <laughs> yeah. Want a little knuckle in your eyes? How, how many people does it take to put a block of cream cheese in a mixer? All right. There you go, Mom. So this is eight ounce, almost, block of <laughs> cream cheese. And Mama is going to put in... This is a... Four, half, a half a cup of powdered oh. sugar. Yes. I'm going to put it in there. Well, I said I was. I'm good at shaking it out. And then put the thing on it. The, you gonna put some vanilla flavoring in it? Yes, I am. I got it right here. This is gonna be the flavoring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be probably a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. Approximately. You can use the lid, which is a teaspoon. So we'll put that on there. And now, I don't know if I've ever done cream cheese in here, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It might not be. It's pretty. We got it all on one corner, one yeah, corner. Yeah, it's pretty One side. Up. Pretty piled up right there, and it kind of got jammed. Yeah. It was cut. Mama thinks, Mama thinks she can mix anything in here. She's just give up on that old other mixer. She says, just put it in there. We'll try and see. I think it's going to have to have a little bit more liquid. Maybe a, a little bit of water or something, Mama. I don't want to put water. She won't put water in it. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do it. All right. Let's see if we can get it to go. Slowly and surely it is. Slowly and surely. Well, this. this is the thickest of anything I've tried to mix in it. But the, the uh, powdered sugar will make it 
Here we go. Another cup, so we'll have enough to, I mean, another half a cup. Now, folks, that's some good stuff right there. And look how easy the chopper took care of it. It was a little stiff at the start, but once I unjammed it off the side. Well, it was just locked up. It didn't have no choice except. Good old powdered sugar. I think I need a drop of cream, don't you? Well, Mama, don't, I asked for some. <laughs> <laughs> There's the cream cheese. Mama says now she's going to put a drop of cream in it. Go ahead, Mama. Oh, get your no. Cup. That's just perfect. Is it? That'll smirk. Look. Okay, Mama. If you're happy with it, I'm tickled to death. I don't know if it's going to be enough to cover my thing, though. We're going to find out. We're going to put some more in there. Put some more in there, what? Powdered sugar. Are you going to do it now? Yeah. We get me to stick it back on there. Well, oh, that ain't going good. You can tell we've planned this out delicately to every detail. Hey, this is how I do. You look, you do and learn. So how many cup, cup and half the powdered sugar? Try that. Cause that ain't enough to cover this big area. Uh, cover one down eight inches. You're right, Mom. But it won't cover that. Other. How about that drop of cream? Because it's getting too stiff now. You want to drop more? No, we don't put no more of that. Let's put just another drop of cream. Oh, we ain't put no cream yet. Well, let's put just a drop of cream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, when we can figure this recipe out, we'll share it with you. I promise. Well, just, this is how you cook. You just do and learn, do and learn. Mm -mm -mm. Now, when we say drop, we really mean... Teaspoon. If you don't... If you ain't awful careful, you will over liquefy. Don't knife, you'll get cut. <laughs> so I am going to get a teaspoon, uh, your measuring spoon. Here's a... Right here, I got one. Oh, I got a tablespoon up here. We don't need that much. All right, give me the spoon. It's too big, too much. I, I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to put that much right there in there, and I'm going to add it Slowly. about a half of it. Because when you're dealing with powdered sugar, you will find a little bit of liquid goes a long ways, don't it, Mama? Oh, yes, very long ways. Mix as we go. Okay, let's put another little drop. I'll shake it too much. Huh? I was reaching over and getting it at an angle. I'd mess it up. <laughs> spill it on me. You didn't spill it. All right. There it is. Back to what it was before that last. Okay. This is going to be delicious. We make this icing for a lot of things. I don't know if we've ever made it for this though, have we? No. Did you use Cool Whip before? I used this Cool Whip. You're the one that wanted the try the cream cheese. Huh? Mm, yes, ma'am. You're right. I am the one. Mm. I love the cream cheese. I have another. I think I've made it on here before. Where you take Jello and when it's hot, you put a cake of cream cheese in it. Yes. And do. stir it up, and then it makes layers in there. Yeah, we have done that. And it's uh, low carb. Mm -hmm. We like that. Mama's gonna try to do some low carb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't you, Mama? You gonna spread that on our? Like Ain't you, Mama? I might. It helps with sugar. We call diabetes in the South sugar or the sugar. If somebody says, would you like a piece of this cake? And you might hear them say, no, honey, I got the sugar. Now that's a Southern thing. And it just means they're diabetic. So if you hear somebody in the South say they got the sugar, 
that's sugar. Uh, that means sugar diabetes or diabetic. Right, Mom? I guess you're right. Mom, you know I'm right. So, Mama, her, uh, her sugar. You're not supposed to blab everything. Everything I know. So, we're going to try to do. It's going to be easier to. We're going to try to do a little better, and I am going to try to do a little less sugar myself. Not today. No, no, not today. That's for now, certain. That's not this one. But we're going to try to do some things that are a little better sugar fat, aren't we, Mama? Ain't we, Mama? A little. She loves it when He's I... so bossy. She loves it when I come up with good ideas like that. Don't you, Mama? <laughs> no. <laughs> Honestly, no. You know, like... Mama don't eat the right stuff, and I tell her, more protein, Mama. Less sugar. Less Coca-Colas. Zeros. Coca-Cola Zero. That's your new favorite thing, ain't it, Mama? Mm -mm. You going to tolerate them? I don't know. God puts a heavy hand on that. Yes, ma'am. It don't all have to be just no one. But, Mama, it has it's, to be it's just perfect. Just for us. It has to be perfect. I'm going to eat some. You're taking two. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Mama's getting hateful today. It's been too long since she said sugar. All right, now this is just a little bit of that jello that we have left in the pack. And this is really just going to be for decoration. I'm just gonna you're, a hit. you're missing the bowl. Just going to sprinkle a little bit of it on the top. You're going to taste that little bit of jello, but it's also just going to give it a little bit of red. As there you see. And as the moisture from the icing gets in there, you'll see a little bit more of that red come through. Watch your mom. Yes, and it will be pretty. There it is. See the red. That may look brown on camera, but it's it's red. Uh, and it's then you got raspberry. the red. It's a raspberry red. And then it's got water on them, so be careful. Mama, I'm gonna let you do that. I just just put them where you want to. You blueberries. Well, I started. I just want them to look random. I don't want to look at a row. You gonna do them in a row? No. And I'm gonna try to make it look like no. Well, if you're just gonna do oh, random, it's got water in it though. I mean, water yes, rinsed, them, rinsed them out. We don't. Mm. These are out of the freezer. These are frozen. Uh, you can buy frozen fruit, especially when they're out of season. Get you some frozen. That's uh, like tomatoes. If you can't get a homegrown tomato, uh, use a can. Well, these are... Those three don't have to go. That may no, go. you're wanting to eat those three. <laughs> All right, folks. That is our Veterans Day red, white, and blue uh, dessert. Isn't that pretty? And that can also be for 4th of July. I promise you that looks redder to me in person than it does on camera. It's starting to get redder. You can tell there. But the blue is part of the... Blue, so that's just a little patriotic dish. Mama, let's have a little bite of this. Why, sure. Uh, and we'll see what the sampling is like. I've got some good hot coffee right here. Mm mm mm. Good times. Alright, you Make it and then serve it. Now, we still are going to cook like we have been cooking. We're just going to try to incorporate some healthy habits into it. And uh, don't and think we're changing programming. Farmers. We're not changing programming or nothing. And we'll still have some great recipes. And we're still going to do Thanksgiving. But, you know, sometimes you just want to try to help it up a little bit. This is healthy. It's fruit in it. No, it's not that healthy. It's got that powdered sugar in it, though. Mm -hmm. But it does have apples, and it does have the bananas, and it does have the blueberries. Mm -hmm. And what we did was take the 
raspberry jello, put a hot a cup of hot and a cup of cold, mixed it up. I left off just about a fraction of the cold. So I was gonna put the fruit in it. And then he wanted the cream cheese icing on it. And uh, then the frozen blueberries, I was just wrenched them off real good and put them on top. So that's a, a red, white, and blue in honor of the veterans today. And uh, and we truly, with all our hearts, thank them for all mm -hmm. they've done and going to do and stuff. So yes, we what's do. What's the verdict? Mom and the standing. Yeah, it's, it's delicious. That jello, it's got that tart raspberry. I'm gonna have to slide over this way. Oh, I'm far away. Huh? It's I got was that, just concentrating on eating. I wasn't worried about it. It's got that uh, tart raspberry, and then you get that sweet and that cream cheese and that powdered sugar. And boy, is it good together. No, you I, give it a try and give your verdict. I was going to, and you was making me move it before. No, I wanted to see you more. Apple and banana together. Mm -hmm. Get it all. Get a little bit of everything. Mmm. Isn't it good? Oh, yeah. Now, are you glad that I said the, the uh, cream cheese would be good on top of it and so just plain old Cool Whip? Oh, yes, it is. It's delicious together. This may be a new favorite, Mama. And, you know, you can switch this up with orange. You can switch this up with all kinds of different flavors. And a little bit of powder gel on top. You can taste it. It gives it a little extra zing, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Very good. It's a good snack. Whoops. This was supposed to be dessert, but we forgot to cook. We ain't eating with this. Is all we get. <laughs> no. Mama got busy working on cookbooks and some more stuff. I said, is that jello made? She said, oh, yeah, it's made by now. I said, well, let's get it made. So we came in here and got this started, and we skipped supper. We ate a late lunch. I might take them three blueberries and put them on a bowl of cereal later on. <laughs> I'll let you have more blueberries. There's more in there. Oh, there are more? Yes, there's more. There's a whole bag and then a little bit more, so you can eat all the blueberries you want on it. Blueberries are good for you. Mm -hmm. Mama, you did good. Yeah, I'll give this little dessert an A plus, and it was quick and easy. Oh, yeah. You could start that jello this morning and have it ready for just a minute, you know, and then let it gel and then have it for your supper. Anybody could do that. Oh, yeah. So if you're working, you could do that before you left in the morning, the jello, come home, whip up the topping, put it on top of it, some frozen blueberries, and you're in business. Mm -hmm. But we did want to take today and thank mm -hmm. of our veterans and say thank you. And uh, we hope you all had a great day. Hope you have a great day tomorrow, too. And uh, just bring this little dessert to you in honor of, of our patriotic uh, of, the, of America, red, white, and blue, mm -hmm. and, uh, and to honor our veterans as well. So if you're looking for a red, white, and blue dessert, I recommend this one. You could also use the ready whip and spray, you know, the, uh -huh. how you hold it down there a little bit and put like flowers, put a blueberry in the center of each one of them and let the jello show too. And it would be pretty that way. And Mama, did you know if you use that canned ready whip? Yeah, it's no calories. Uh, no carbs. Mm. Maybe calories, but no carbs. Mm -hmm. So there it is, folks. Our little red, white, and blue dessert. It is really good. You got anything else today, Mom? No, I believe that's it. All right, folks. That's all we got, then. Mm -hmm. Maggie's over here eating. It's supper time for her. She, she says, eats when we eat. She says, y'all are eating. Don't think I ain't going to eat too. She's over here eating her bowl. All right, folks. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to say thank you all for watching. Thank you all for uh, being here with us today. And have a great rest of the day. And uh, find you something good to eat. And make you some memories. Say good night, Mom. Good night.
washing up my mouth. Good night, Mom, and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all.